Welcome to the Joy of Music, featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers, travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps, visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Standing in the city of Lucerne, Switzerland, on shimmering Lake Lucerne, is the Hofkirche the main church with its two green towers rising above the city monuments, buildings, and houses. In its present state, the church dates back to the 1600s. As we enter the church, we are immediately struck with the beauty of our surroundings, the statues, the carvings, and the music of the monumental organ. The very symbol of Lucerne is its famous chapel bridge. Dating back to 1333, it offers us a wonderful display of medieval art and architecture. Not only is it a gathering place for people from all over the world, but also for hundreds, even thousands of birds every day. Also in the background, we see the 13th century octagonal water tower.
In the Hofkirche of Lucerne, Switzerland, special guest opera tenor Jonathan Welch sings the Lord's Prayer. A lot of people or young people dream of singing opera and being successful. Was it something you dreamed of when you were young? Yeah, it really was. I was very interested in drama when I was in high school. And I really wanted to be an actor. And then we discovered that I had a voice. I come from a, a singing family, a very musical family. I always sang in church. And um, so a very good friend of mine, a voice teacher, said, you really should study music. If you want to act and sing, then opera is the thing for you. So I came to Europe on a tour with the American Youth Band and Chorus when I was 17 and really got the bug. And we had with us a guest opera singer, William Dupree from New York City Opera. And when I heard him sing, he was a tenor, and when I heard him sing, even at the age of 17, I could feel those notes like forming in my voice and uh, something just, just clicked, you know, and I thought, oh, this is for me. And so then began to study seriously and uh, yeah, that was my dream. A lot of people start singing in church, you know, that's where they get their start. Yeah. And then they go on to opera, but what kind of music, did, did you always sing opera or did you go like from no, college? No. Yeah, I, many, I meet many people in the business that did start in church and uh, unfortunately some of them, they stopped. Uh, I could never stop. We, uh, I grew up singing in the church and still singing in the church, always will. I couldn't a bit more stop that. I mean, that wasn't like a professional choice where once I sang in church, now I sing in opera houses. We always sing to the glory of God. We hope that's our intention, our desire. But um, 
it's uh, just as natural for me to sing in church as to go to church. It's a, it's a part of my life. I have to worship. I have to give praise back to God and also give back the gift. It's like the parable of the ten talents. We were discussing it the other night at supper. Uh, it's an obligation. It's a gift from God. And if you don't develop it, then it, it, you bury it uh, like the man that buried his talent. I think that God wants us to be the best that we can be, whatever that is, whatever you do, whatever your dream is, and I think he'll give you a job. I think that it's wonderful to aspire to greatness. I don't apologize for my ego. If you didn't have an ego, you know good you and well we couldn't perform. go out there and do, but you can have a, a dedicated, a sanctified uh, ego, you know, and, and give it to God. Jonathan, what difference does your faith make in your career? I think... Uh, for one thing, well, faith, I mean, even in your life, it's, it's life itself, you know, I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you can get therapy for this and that and all kinds of medicine, whatever else, but there's only one person who can uh, forgive sins. There's only one, you know, redemption, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ and power from God and through His Holy Spirit. But as far as the career, I think it takes a lot of the pressure off. I don't go through life feeling like I have to manipulate every little thing that happens in my life and or I have to make this happen and whatever. I do the auditions. I'm human. I have nerves. So I squirm and sometimes I really want this. And we talked about this with Deutsche Oper Berlin. I did that audition. I wanted the job and I got the job. And I pray, you know, well, God... Okay, you know, I really do want this, but right. if it's not your will, then, and I really do mean that. There have been times, and we haven't the time to discuss it today, sometime I'll tell you the story another time, where I missed out on something that I thought was fabulous for me in Europe, and because that didn't happen, God enabled 15 other things to happen that were so much better and so much more important and perfectly in line with His will for my life. So the fact that we can trust God that whatever's supposed to happen will I think that makes the difference. I don't go crazy about That's my right. career. I, I have agents, but I, God's the manager. You're a trusted <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's beautiful to be here in this country and, and realize that, that God gave us not only music, but beauty and snow and mountains. Incredible. And all of the things that go together. Yeah.
As we walk in the beauty of the Swiss Alps, we are really reminded that God is the creator. And all the things that he has made, the mountains, the hills, the trees, sing forth in praise to him. Isaiah tells us, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And the mountains shall break forth into singing, and the trees of the field shall clap their hands. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast found them. The north and the south, thou hast created them.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bish and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in helping to make this program possible.